all ranks are being reset in the Master Chief Collection. When will this happen and why is 343 doing it? Well stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps this video get more notoriety so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on in Halo. And yes, you heard me right. The Master Chief Collection ranks are going to be reset. All those ranks you worked so hard on to try to get up to your 50s, your highest rank possible, well that's going to be all cleared out. The dev update posted on Friday from Postums goes into details why this is happening. And the reason why this is happening is because in the back end of the matchmaking system within the MCC, they're kicking out an old system and bringing in a new one. This new system will be able to calculate your competitive skill rank or your CSR better than it was previously. Essentially, the old system had some kind of old cobweb, as quoted, nuanced bugs within it that really kind of hindered the experience to really try to give you the best matches you could possibly find. Quoted saying long-time issues around stats being unexpectedly partially reset among other nuances found along the way, Meaning that the, basically the system that they have, it works, but it has its holes. It's not as functional as it could be. And so what they decided to do is actually just get rid of that old one and put in a new one, which is the reason why they're bringing in this new one. Basically stating that it provides a sturdier foundation to build on, from, on top of that for the future. So if you're going to update the ranking system and matchmaking in some way, it's a much easier, much more fluid process to do that. I'm assuming that this new matchmaking system was actually tested within the flight process for Halo 3 because they mentioned a new feature that with this new matchmaking system and that they have brought into place it allows them to actually to display the highest lifetime rank stat that you've accomplished in the MCC which was something that we don't have at all right now on the retail version but on the recent Halo 3 flight that was in there you could see what someone's highest rank and what playlist was so for example I think in the flight I got to like 10 or 12 or 13 rank and the heart Halo 3 hardcore but i was able to show that on halo reach i'm like a 23 was the highest rank i ever received so yeah it's sad to see these ranks go but honestly i think at this point guys we, we've all been grinding out these ranks on the mcc for just about two years now so i'm assuming that you probably all got to the point you'd want to get and honestly like a refresh on these stats might actually be very welcome for me personally i would actually really like it as right now for me on the halo three on mcc trying to play hardcore matches i can't find any matches because i'm a level nine i was too busy grinding out halo 5 ranks back in the day so i didn't catch up to the herd where most people are like if you're in the 30s you can find matches just fine because if i remember correctly that you have to be a plus or minus 10 rank of whatever your mode you're playing in those are the people you'll match against and if there's not enough people within your rank well then you're not gonna be finding any games so could this revive previously Deceased, I guess, if you will, ranks modes like Halo Reach is hardcore, Halo CE, even Halo 2s. I don't know. I have a feeling this will probably be more of just a resurgence of Halo 3 on console and on PC, as Halo 3 Hardcore was already the most popular ranked mode to play, so I can only figure that this is probably what will happen. And honestly, with, all, with the influx of new players, it would be actually great for the people who have ranked up really high to be able to find matches and kind of start all over again. They don't go into details of exactly how the back end matchmaking goes. They just say, hey, this one's better. We can update it easier. It just works better. So we have to take our word on that. I will try to dive in and get a little more information on that because essentially there's ways you can go about doing your matchmaking to make it so the players get the best matches possible. For example, in Halo 2, everyone started at zero and worked their way up to 50. Where compared in Halo 3, yeah, you started at zero and then went to 50, but in the back end, you actually were at 25. And depending on your wins and losses, you'd go down and up for your hidden rank. And that's why in Halo 3, it was so much easier to rank up to 50 faster. So I'll definitely have to check to see if they go with like a Halo 3 model, their own model, or something like that in the, kind of in the back end right there. 
So now you're probably thinking, oh God, my ranks are being reset. When is this happening? I'm freaking the heck out. Well, this is going to happen with the release of Halo 3 on PC. Now there is currently no date announced at the time of making this video. My assumptions would be probably July 14th or the week, the Tuesday after that would be my idea of when we see Halo 3 being released on PC as the flight was a rather finished build. It played super well. I enjoyed myself a lot. I could definitely see myself grinding out content playing this a ton. So let me know in the comment section down below guys, are you actually excited to have your ranks reset in the MCC? Or are you upset about it? Or do you think it's be good or better for the game? Let me know. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Now that we're talking about playlists and things like that, I'm sure you probably didn't realize or maybe not have played in a couple days, but there actually was a playlist update that recently went live as well. Actually what happened was that a Shiny Sniper's playlist rotated in for the uh, Fiesta playlist that was recently in for social mode. So you have Shiny Snipers for 4v4 and free for all eight player free for all awesomeness right there for you guys so that about does it for the, all the halo news guys if you want to get some big juicy details of everything that's gonna be coming in with halo 3's release on the mcc for pc check out my previous video talking about the dev update that recently went live at the end of the month guys it's a big boy update long video but a lot of good information i think a lot of you guys will want to know so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it. check out the videos at the screen right here if you missed any content from me recently or you've been out of the halo loop for the last few days or so and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.